Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro today. I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade the iPhone 4 to iOS 4 and iOS 5 today. So let's get started. All right, guys, so in order to downgrade the iPhone 4 to iOS 4 and iOS 5S, first thing is you'll need a Mac or a Windows running one of these systems. But there's actually a bug on some of these systems while using Red Snow, where the phone will kick itself out of DFU every single time. All right, so now we have to go onto the latest version of Windows of Windows or Mac OS to download the files we need. I have every file for 4.0.2 through 5.1.1. The link for this will be in the description below. I also have the CMA iPhone 4 here as well for the files but I've not tested the CMA at all, so I don't know if this will work or not. I have tested the GSM 16 gigabyte model. I have not tested the 32 gigabyte, because there's actually a bug that I discovered while doing the fourth gen iPod touch for the same process, where the, only the 16 gigabyte can run iOS 4 and 5, and if you have a 32 or 64 gig, it will only run iOS 5. So I'm not sure if that will also affect the iPhone 4 or not. I do not know. You'll also need to download iTunes 10.63 in Red Snow. I actually have them both here for Windows and Mac. I'm going to be downloading 4.0.2 as zip. But you'll have to do this one full download at a time. Otherwise, it'll say storage too big. Now that I finished downloading, so now what we're going to do is drag them onto the desktop here. So now, we will have to unzip them on the modern version of Windows and Mac. Because I don't know why, but older systems cannot unzip files. Okay, so for Red Snow, though, you will have to unzip it here. All right, so now what we're going to do is transfer these to the USB stick. Because the Mega website does not support the older version of Windows anymore. Same for Mac. Now, we're going to go and drag these onto Utility. Go back, and the transfer has finished. All right, so now what we're gonna do is plug the USB stick into our computer here. So now we're gonna open the USB stick here, then drag everything out onto the desktop. And the folders are now on my desktop. So now what we're gonna have to do now is downgrade iTunes to version 10.63 for the downgrade to work. If you use iTunes 11 or newer, you'll get error 11 every single time. If you're on a Mac using Lion up to Yosemite, then you'll have to follow the next step. All right, so for Mac users, you're gonna open terminal and type this command, cd space forward slash applications, type enter. So now what we're gonna do is type in the following command, sudo space rm space dash rf space then I tunes.app type enter. Now we're going to enter our password. When my password entered, I'll just hit enter. And there we go. iTunes is now removed. Just like that. All right, so now we're going to go into the folder for rest known iTunes. We're going to go and open iTunes 10.63. Now we're going to go and install this. Hit continue. And iTunes is now installed. We're going to close this out. We're going to open iTunes, but if you get this error right here on Windows or Mac, I'm not sure about Windows, but I do know on Mac, you will have to delete the iTunes library file. So to do this, we're gonna go up to search and type iTunes. We're gonna delete this file, ituneslibrary.itl. We're gonna go and delete that, and that's it. So now we can go and open iTunes. All right guys, so now we're gonna go into the ResNo folder, open the ResNo app, all right, so now we're ready for the downgrade process. So now what we're gonna do is connect the iPhone 4 to the charger here. So now to put it into DFU mode, what we're gonna do is hold down the home button and power button till it powers off, release the power button, and keep holding the home button. All right, there we go. iPhone 4 DFU. So now we're gonna click extras, pwned. And this is the step I was telling you about, where it may kick itself out of DFU. Okay, so this time it did not. See, iPhone 4 is now in Poe and DFU. But sometimes on Windows, it will do that. All right, so now what we're going to do, on Mac, you hold Option Restore. On Windows, it will be 
shift restore. We're going to click the iPhone 4 files, 4.0.2 iFaith, and now we'll start to restore. I saw it back and the restore has finished. Now we're going to go back in the red snow and boot the iPhone up. So now we're going to do the same step again to go into DFU mode. All right, there we go. But there's actually a bug with red snow on Windows and Mac where sometimes the it will say the device and then pwned even though it's not. To fix this, you just got to quit red snow and it just reopen it again. And there we go, it's all fixed. So now, most important step of all, we're going to click Extras. Then, in order for the Just Boot option to work, we need to select the IPSW. So now we're going to find the iPhone 4 JSM folder we downloaded. The, the first one the custom IPSW, the one we restore to. The second one is the stock one. That's what this next step we need for the next step. We're going to click Just Boot, and it should work. There we go. It's working. Because when you say, when it says uploading first stage, that means it worked. All right, there we go. We got the Red Snow logo, just like that. And there we go, my phone's now booting up. Back, and my phone's now done booting up. And there we go, now we're on iOS 4. And this is a tethered downgrade, which means you need a computer to boot the device up every single time. So now we're going to take our SIM card and put it into our phone to activate this. I saw back, I got my modern computer on me. So we will need a modern Mac using Finder and Windows using iTunes 12.6 or newer for us to activate. So I'm going to place the phone on the charger here and it should appear. There it is. iPhone. This is loading. Activating. Yeah, if you get this message, just click network, click iPhone. This could take a couple of tries. And there we go. Just like that. Now the iPhone is now activated. All right, guys, so I'm back, and my iPhone 4 is now fully set up and activated. Now, to go back to iOS 7, you will have to put your phone into DFU mode using iTunes 10.63 and the iOS 7.1.2 IPSW. That method is only for 4.0.2 through 5.0.1. If you're on 5.1.1, you can just update their settings normally. Because the update servers for 501 earlier are down, so you have to update the iTunes. So you guys see, when I go general, about, there we go, iOS 4.0.2. Now guys see, I went ahead and got all my apps and games and music back on the device. About 70, 80 apps I was able to get on here right now. I do have a whole bunch more I can install later on. But that's how you downgrade the iPhone 4 to iOS 4 and iOS 5 today. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, give the video a thumbs up. This video, peace out.